Okay, in this short tutorial, we will be just simply importing a Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheet into SAP Predictive Analysis. So we have SAP Predictive Analysis open right now, and we will draw our attention to the uh, left-hand pane here at the welcome screen. Remember here that in the bottom uh, panel, we can click to learn more about uh, SAP Predictive Analysis. There's some video tutorials uh, at this hyperlink. You can also register and sign up and look for community and expert advice using uh, for SAP Predictive Analysis, as well as seek out any online help or documentation regarding SAP Predictive Analysis. You'll notice here that I have some documents already saved into SAP Predictive Analysis. These are files that are actually saved in the native SAP Predictive Analysis format. These are based on classroom exercises that I had done previously. Here's the actual data sets that correspond to those documents. Here's a series of visualizations that I have saved regard, uh, for a variety of these different exercises. In this case, though, we're going to bring in a new document. You notice here that uh, SAP predictive analysis can bring in comma-separated values uh, easily. can bring in data based on a freehand sta uh, SQL statement, I'm sorry, Microsoft Excel, as well as some of uh, SAP's native uh, HANA uh, document. Uh, data formats. This is a new product that they are very uh, keen about that you can search for more information about that's outside the scope of uh, this exercise. So uh, in this case if I click here I can simply browse to the data set that I'm interested in. I am interested in using the magic data set. Bringing this in takes a small amount of time to load. So SAP predictive analysis uh, read the spreadsheet. The names at the top of the spreadsheet were guessed to be the variable names. And if you remember that what this data set is, this is a data set of Magic the Gathering collectible cards. Um, and this comes from an online retailer uh, for the secondary market for these cards. And we have information uh, about the price of these cards on the secondary market ranging from anywhere from two cents all the way to $4,999. Now SAP does its best job to guess what um, properties each of these columns of data have going for them. So for example, the card name, it guesses by, by virtue of having the ABC next to it, it guesses that this is simply a string or text. Whereas in the case of the date that the set was released, based on the format that it, was, uh, that it depicts, it is automatically guessing that we're dealing with some sort of date variable, which is correct. Now we also have another column here where it's only the year that the set was released. Uh, now in this case, uh, SAP predictive analysis guessed wrong. It believes that this is just a simple numerical value That's by virtue of the one, two, and three. Later we could set this as an actual year variable if we need to do so. And various other pieces of information are captured in this uh, acquisition. So everything looks pretty good uh, at this state. We'll go ahead and click acquire. takes a small amount of time to load in and acquiring this data. We now have the data brought in and let's draw our attention to the upper left hand corner here. Right now we are in the data view so this is we are very much just looking at the spreadsheet of the data if you will. Uh, we, can co we can simply click on any particular variable to uh, sort, um, convert, add this data to a chart or other piece of information. For example, I clicked on the A to Z here, and now I've organized my data set from alphabetical order. In the case of the date the set was released, I've now or organized the data from the earliest set to the latest uh, set that it was released. Another view we can use is the split view here. Oh, I'm sorry, the facets view. The facets view will provide to us sort of a, a, a summary uh, basically a frequency table of each one of the variables that we have captured in our data set. So for example, based on this, uh, we can see that there's a card called Mountain that is depicted in the data set 50 times, whereas a car called Fireball is uh, depicted 13 times. We see that there are 1,463 unique cards that were released in the year 2007. And we can scan through the rest of the uh, data to verify some other characteristics.